You guys, it's update day. I'm actually shocked that we even got an update today. I'm not going to lie. So let's go ahead and take a look at the update log here. Ooh, nice. April 2024, 12, 16. Hey, Bloxburger, spring is here at last. And you know what that means? Time for some spring cleaning and sprucing up your place with our latest build mode items. Get ready to give your house a fresh new look with our brand new sets of doors, windows, textures, and decorations. Let's welcome the new season and style. Are you ready to jump into Bloxburg and start building with us? That's pretty cool. So I guess we have some new items, which is great. I always love having like new doors and windows, especially textures as well to play around with. Changes, added new build mode items, added eight new materials. Oh, that's a lot of materials actually. Added pre-built house catalog. Excuse me? Added equal pay across all jobs. Okay, that's pretty cool. I, I like that. So then you don't have to like rely on one job. That's pretty nice. Added a towing fee. <gasps> What? Wait, we have realism in this game now? Park in the correct spot or your car will be towed. <laughs> oh my gosh. Added a hospital fee? Wait, what? Keep your moods up or you're faint. Added a backpack purchases. You no longer need to interact with an object to unlock it. We have bug fixes. The roller skates now retain the color you selected. Bug fix wall corners keep both color and texture seamlessly and more. Wow. Okay, that is awesome. Okay, I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is. But whenever I hit play now, this pops up and it looks awesome. Oh, <gasps> wait, what is this? Oh, <gasps> these are the new pre-built houses. Wait, look at this. Wait, these are actually made by like some actual content creators. <gasps> oh my gosh, what? Oh, this is awesome. I don't have like any money for this though. So we have Cedar Crest here for from Code Unicorn. We have Cottage Comfort from It's Aquila. Um, we have Retro Revival from Faulty. What? This looks so cool. We have Nature's Nook from RX Bills. That looks pretty neat, not gonna lie. Ranger's Retreat. Wait, this is so cool. Okay, wait, no, these are just like random people who made these. Highway Hideaway, Heritage House. This is awesome. Cactus Cancun. Oh, pita Bread. Wait, Pita Bread uploaded one? Oh, wait, that's awesome. So I guess these are like brand new pre-built houses that we can actually interact with. Man, I wish I had the money because I'd love to check out Pita Breads right there. Okay, I'm gonna have to like come back and probably touch on that or like go sell a plot or something. Yeah, look at this. So all of these. Oh, wait, are this, is this a ranking system? Wait a minute. Number two is my tropical house. Wait, what's my number one house? Oh my gosh, don't tell me that that's actually public for people to see. That would be hilarious if so. Okay, wait, I need to go to my little mini mansion for this update, you guys. Oh, wait, risk of fainting. Your moods are very low and you should increase your moods to avoid a risk of fainting. But what if I want to faint, huh? What, what if I want to faint just to see what in the world actually happens? You're at risk of fainting. Increase your mood to prevent fainting and needing medical treatment. Wait, I kind of want to see this though. I don't know why I'm excited for fainting in a video game, but this is going to be very cool. I'm very excited to see this. I want to see like, the realism factor to this. All right, here we go. What's going to happen? Oh. What? When my vision actually goes blurry. What in the world? $1,750? Oh my gosh. I mean, this definitely means that you guys now have to take care of your moods. Like, if you don't take care of your moods, you are literally going to faint. Well, that was really cool to see. Um, and not really cool that I had to pay like $1,000, almost $2,000. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and go into build mode because I want to see these brand new items. Okay, first of all, is there anything new under build? Let's see. <gasps> Oh my gosh, what is this? There's so much new stuff. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I need any wall. <gasps> Look at this stuff. We have a retro mailbox. Sending letters may not be the most popular forms of communication anymore, but if you want to buck the trend, then here's a fitting retro mailbox. <gasps> wait, that looks so cool. <gasps> oh, I love that. That's amazing. Okay, we also have a wardrobe bifold door. Oh, wait, that's so cool. So now we actually just have like regular doors for closets or whatnot. Oh, that's amazing. When you have a closet big enough for you to be able to walk inside it, it needs an equally large door. This elegant bifold door fills that purpose perfectly without taking up a lot of room when the doors are open. Ooh, fancy. I like it. We also have a glass bifold door. <gasps> okay, so we also have a glass bifold door here, a modern and sleek bifold door with a glass panels, which lets you separate two rooms if your house oh wait what oh in your house without either feeling closed off the perfect balance between an open and closed layout <gasps> Ooh, wow oh my gosh i love that we also have a large glass bifold door are you looking to add a way for both you and some natural light to easily enter your, your living room with a fancy yet modern glass bifold door you can open up your home without having to tear down a wall Oh my gosh, that is massive. It barely fits on my wall there. That is so cool looking. Hold up, wait, I'm gonna need some more walls now. Next, we have a frosted metal fence. Oh, wait, new fencing? Oh my gosh, wait a minute. This is like modern fencing. I love this. 
Surrounding yourself with this frosted glass and metal fence, sturdy and robust, yet elegant and exquisite. Oh, <gasps> what? Oh my gosh, yes, it's like the frosted metal glass. Wow, those are beautiful. I really like that actually. Wow, that is a beautiful fence railing. Oh, I'm gonna be using that in so many builds, you guys. So many builds. Next, we have a small pointed arc window, a smaller version of the pointed arc window, whether you're building a medieval castle, yes, or just want to give an interesting edgy vibe to your home. And nothing is better than a pointed arc window. A classic Gothic feel can be resized as well. Ooh, they call that a small window? My gosh, that does not feel like a small window, if I'm being honest here. We also have, ooh, a pointed arc window, or sorry, pointed arch window. Whether you're building a medieval castle, okay, yeah, yeah. Um, same description pretty much as well. And wow, oh my gosh, that is a big window. The what? That is insane, but I love it. Okay, next we have, oh, the small stained glass windows. So I was wrong though. It does actually have that marble trimming already on the window. So that's pretty cool. A smaller, but no less beautiful stained glass window. When you want more than just a window to the outside, this piece of art almost makes you stop caring about what's on the other side. Oh, that's so cool. <gasps> Wait, I love that. Wait, can you change the color on the glass? Can you? A modern panel mailbox. Are you tired of that fact that the only mail you ever get is the bills? Are you ready for us to spend some money on the off chance that, is, that it'll change things? What? <laughs> I have never seen a mailbox like this before. What the what? Ooh, this is fancy. An ornate fence gate. The fence gate is usually the first thing a visitor sees, so make a good first impression with the small yet grandiose orient gates. Ooh, very nice. I'm just gonna put that right here on my beautiful new frosted metal fence as well. Um, we also have a regular pointed arch. If you want to add a royal field to your home, there's no better way to put an appointed arch. It gives a nice gothic vibe. Oh yeah, for the castle. So I think they all have like the same description. <gasps> Stop! Wait, it's a door frame? It's a door frame? I thought this was a window frame. Oh my gosh, yes. Yes, I am so happy about this. Oh, this looks amazing. I'm excited. I'm very excited for this. Ooh, wait, look at this. A half sphere door. A wooden door with a tasteful raised panels with a classic half moon window providing a bit of natural light for your hallway. Oh, <gasps> wait, this is so nice. Wait, these are just like regular house doors and I love it too because of how simple it is. Like the simplicity look of it is just magnificent and I absolutely love it. And also, by the way, this would be great for like really like either cute houses um like the first thing that jumped to my mind was like a horror game because there was a horror game that kind of used like these similar doors and it was so cool this might be one of my favorite Bloxburg updates and i know i say that a lot but generally this might be one of my favorites okay next we have an orient pillar stare at the intricate spiral pillar in a corthanian style and let yourself be dragged back in time the perfect way of adding some ancient elegance to your traditional mansion and also can be resized Ooh, that's a nice pillar actually okay next we have a large glass fence a fence with metal posts and strong tempered glass panes a stylish and modern look that might not offer a lot of privacy but creates a very open and clean atmosphere <gasps> holy shimoli that's that's a tall fence i thought that would be a short fence Oh my gosh, that is, that is, that's a nice fence though. So next we have a, ooh, a large stained glass window. Have you ever dreamt of having a window that was more than just plain glass? A window that could be outshined all other windows with colors and patterns and true joy. Worry not, for now you finally have a stained glass window at your disposal. Oh my gosh, that is a big stained glass window. Beautiful with all the intricate details on it. Wow, well, that is insanely cool looking. Okay, next we have a tall pointed arch window, a taller version of the pointed arch window, whether you're building a medieval castle in the same description. Oh, wow. Next we have, ooh, an orient metal fence, a beautiful orient metal fence to surround your garden or perhaps decorate your indoor balcony. The swirl will put you back in time to an era of magnificent mansions and handcrafted furniture. Wait, this is so, ooh, ooh, wait a minute, ooh. Wait, I like that fencing beauty of a fence wow i love that a lot oh wait a minute wait 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 did i skip stuff oh i skipped stuff wait how did i skip how did i skip stuff what in the world i'm sorry i i just realized i skipped these grand staircase finally descend into a manner worthy of your grand stature such and it seem on this equally grand staircase it leads perfectly up into any fancy ballroom auditorium theater or even your regular villa that is in need of a bit of glamour <gasps> oh my gosh that is a massive staircase but that is so, oh my gosh, the in, the detail on the side. Oh my gosh, I love it. But look at this. this, this is insane. This is insanely beautiful. Oh my gosh, oh, and combining with the pillars as well. Oh, these just look so good together, like this little combo. 
Oh my gosh, guys. I really... Oh, you know what? No, I'm building a castle in the future in Bloxburg, guys. I am 100% building a castle in the future. Well, I'm sorry. I... I didn't even realize that I skipped these two somehow. Okay, ooh, we also have a new garage door. Yes, framed garage door. If you have a big, expensive, shiny new car, then this is a garage door for you. Exclusive, modern, shiny. And as any added bonus, you can use the reflective surface to make sure that there's nothing between your teeth. Oh my gosh, whoa, wait, wait, wait. Wait, that's a lot of garage doors. What the what? Oh my goodness, we have a small version here. We have, oh, a small horizontal version. We have a small rectangular version here. Oh my gosh, I need more walls. I need more walls. Okay, we also have a horizontal framed garage door here. Ooh, nice. So it's just like a bigger version of like this garage door. And we also have a rectangular framed garage door that is just like pretty much this one, but bigger. And then we also have a simple frame garage door. Ooh, very, oh, ooh, wait a minute. This is giving me like rich, luxurious mansion vibes. Okay, so I think that's everything I missed for now so let's go ahead and look next we have an orient large window let the light in with this large orient window this delicate inner frame signal that you have a good taste without obscuring views oh my gosh that is another massive window but that is great i love it then we also have oh an orient double door enter any room in style with these orient double doors the unique design ensures an exclusive look and clear them and clearly demonstrates your extensive art history knowledge <gasps> sorry the amount of times that i gasp in this video but look at this door this door is amazing. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, you guys. Next, we also have an Orient small window. Handcrafted in Orient, that is how a window should be. Lucky for you, this window is exactly that. With the stone trim on the outside, you can be sure that your building um, facades will also be decorated as a bonus. Oh, pretty. I like that. $15. $15 for this window? That is cheap and inexpensive, and I love it. Stop. We have a pointed top arch double door. With this pointed arch door, you can really sell the tasteful modern mansion look. Dude, wait, that is such a cool door. Wait, I want to put it up front up here somewhere. I don't know where I can put it. I need so many walls for this update. That is so cool. Okay, so let's go ahead and go over and decorate now, and let's look at everything new here. Oh, <gasps> what is that? Wait, are you kidding me? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What is this? A mouse mini restaurant? Oh my gosh, wait, I can't get ahead of myself. Oh wait, we actually don't have that much new stuff in decorate mode. Okay, very nice then. So it does kind of seem like the Blossberg developers did focus more on the build mode portion, which hey, I am all for because we've gotten a lot of decoration stuff. So first of all, we have an Orient building cornice here. Your fancy building can finally have the, de the decorated exterior it deserves. Getting the detailed right is vital when building a nice exterior. And if you're going for something high class and regular wall trims just won't do. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That is pretty. Oh my goodness. Wait, I like that. That is a very nice and intricate detail. And it's so cheap too, versus like having to make it with those basic shapes. Oh, saves so much time, you guys. Okay, next we have an Orient roof support detail. With the standalone version of the Orient building, um, Cornice, you can de you can decorate exactly where you want to and nowhere else, everything in moderation. I think these are actually some of the descriptions that I did read yesterday, or I guess by, by the time this video comes out, the video that got posted today from those teasers, so that's pretty cool. Um, a modern roof support detail, um, a simple support detail that works with most styles, modern and simple, but that extra bit of detail any build can use. Ooh, pretty, I like that. And it's really good too, because how these ones are supposed to work is that when you have a roof here, you have a slanted roof here, right? And pretty much it just makes it look like just like supported by these little roof pieces here, which is great and it looks so good, I'm not gonna lie. And also, I really like it because this kind of gives me like an awning vibe, which is really cool. All right, and then next, what my favorite thing is probably gonna be out of this whole update is this. What is this? A mouse mini restaurant. All creatures deserve a little treat sometimes. And isn't a fancy restaurant in just the right size the perfect place to get that? Welcome to Cheat. What? Chaz Cheese. Only available for mice. Oh, that's so cute. <gasps> Wait, it's so tiny. What? Wait, that is. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's adorable. Oh my gosh. If a mouse comes out of there again, I'm going to be so happy. Wait, it's so cute. Oh my goodness. Guys. Wait, that is adorable. Hold up. Wait, I need some lighting. Wait, that is so cute. Oh my gosh. I love it. I literally love it. Please let, let, tell me that, that a mouse comes out of here. That is adorable. I'll try to keep my eye on that in case anything does happen. And then finally, we do have the stone corner details left. And there also is a bright version. Um, carefully stack stones to accent the edges of your house, cottage, or castle. This is really cool to see, honestly. And then, oh, it doesn't have, it doesn't snap to anywhere, which is nice, actually. That looks so cool for detailing, by the way. Hold up. And then just to show you guys what it looks like back to back, because this is how Bram P showed it off in the ye in yesterday's. But yeah, this is how they're supposed to line up, and they look really clean together. Like, oh my gosh, I love that. New textures. That's right. I almost forgot that we had new textures. Okay, wait. 
But, okay, so let's go ahead and go to the materials here and let's see all of these brand new textures that the devs had just added in. So let's see. Um, oh, roof shingles. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? We have roof shingles. We have roof shingles. This is great. This is the best update ever. I love it. That is amazing. I have wanted roof shingles for so long. Oh my gosh, that is amazing. Okay, wait, let's see. What else do we have? What else do we have? We have, oh wow, there's a lot of new textures here. So first of all, we do have the vertical painted wood panel. Ooh, wait, that looks nice. Oh, that's a very nice texture. I love that. Okay, next we also have a polished horizontal wooden planks. Oh, dude, wait, this would be great for like modern flooring or just like modern houses in general. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this is gonna be great for like all of these new builds that I'm gonna be doing on the channel. We have overlapping panels here. Sometimes you'll see these type of panels like on farmhouses or on order style houses as well, and just add some depth and character to it, which I absolutely love, by the way. Next, we have corrugated vertical metal. So that's, um, we got like some new metal textures here. Very nice. Um, I can definitely see that being like put on a roof or something. So lovely. Have that same thing, horizontal metal as well. Oh my gosh, wow. Oh, you know what? That kind of gives me like the silo texture vibe of like, if you've ever seen a silo before, of kind of how they have like the lines across or like up and down too. Very cool. Next, we also have the painted brick wall. Oh, I have ideas, guys. I have ideas. But that painted brick wall is very nice. I like that. It's a very nice one. And then finally, we have a polished vertical wooden planks. Oh my gosh, I am using this for my floor and no one can stop me. No one can stop me. No one can stop me for that. Let's go check out all this stuff now, now that, now that I'm officially done. Okay, first of all, I have to check out the little mouse cafe here. Okay, wait, so can I click on it? Oh, I can click on it. Wait, what does this do? Oh, wait a minute. Stop. Wait, he has a little hat on. Oh my gosh. Wait, it's adorable. Oh my gosh. Wait. Wait, it is so cute. Oh my gosh. Wait, that is adorable. That is. Oh my goodness, you guys, this is amazing. Oh, he's nudging off the cheese off the table. Oh my goodness, this is my favorite thing. This is my favorite thing of all time. Look, and he's just bringing it back in. That was cute. That was the cutest thing ever. He had a little tiny hat. I love the little mice in Bloxburg. Usually I do not like rodents at all, but in Bloxburg, they are just way too cute not to love. I mean, look at this little guy. He is just taking the cheese. He is working and he's taking the cheese. Lovely. Let's go ahead and check out all of this brand new stuff as well, because this looks awesome. The mailboxes are the same. You can pretty much like permission, family, throw party, build mode. Um, they're very nice though. I do like them. I hope in the future, if we ever get like a postal service in Bloxburg or something, maybe you can like um, write friendly letters to your friends or something, but like just one day or even just for like the role play aspect of it, be able to actually open up these mailboxes and like maybe fake put in a letter or something or like take out the mail. I think that would be pretty cool in the future. Um, we also have this nice little oriented gate here. Love it. Very fancy, very regal as well. This, I actually want to see how this closet door is going to open. So let's see. Oh. <gasps> Oh my gosh. Oh, I love it. Oh, the bifolding doors. Oh, that is so cool. It's awesome. And then we also have these ones over here as well. Yep, they they are the same. This is really cool though, because this definitely gives me like if you had a summertime house or even a spring house. Um, but you can just pretty much like open up the doors, get all that natural airflow. Or like they said in the description too, just to have like that closed off but open feeling within a house. <gasps> oh my gosh, these are my favorite. I think these ones are my favorite right here. Oh, that's great. Oh, dude, look at the window detailing. So we can't get it over this beautiful detailing that the devs did. Wow, whoever made this, by the way, props to you guys. You guys did a phenomenal job with this. And I love like all these little archways here. Okay, wait, I, yes, I can actually walk through this. This is amazing. I'm having so many creative ideas. I'm probably gonna be building it on the channel again. I can't wait to get back into building in Bloxburg and I I'm excited for this. Okay, so let's see. We also have this beautiful door here. I do wish in the future, hopefully, fingers crossed at least, that we can get another door like this, but maybe just, just without this part right here, maybe make like the... Excuse me? Um, I do like it though. It's a very nice door. Oh yes, and then we also do have like this little modern door right here as well. Ooh, Ooh it opens outwards. I don't know if that's supposed to be like how that happens. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Pretty nice though. Oh no, because it hinges on, on this side. Okay. Oh, dude, the stained glass windows are just beautiful. Love those. We have all these new garage doors here too. <gasps> oh my gosh, can I jump? Oh, I, I want to jump on it. Yeah, so pretty much they all sound and they do act the same as the other ones. I do want to see this door though. This door. It just feels so grand. I love it. I just love how grand this door makes me feel. Like it's beautiful. Then we also have some more other garage doors over here as well. I'll just open up these so you guys can see them. And then probably 
My favorite garage door of all time is going to be this garage door right here. Yeah, it's just it's super clean. It's super nice looking. I absolutely love it as well. And then, oh, yeah, we also have all these new textures over here. So here we have like all of the brand new textures. Um, I did go over them. I can't remember any other names except for this one, which is like the painted brick one. All these brand new textures are looking amazing. And I'm loving every single one, especially this one in the back, because it just looks great on the floors. Like I cannot wait to put this in my house. I'll probably have to do like a revamping one of my pots with like some of this new stuff or something. There's just so many Bloxburg video ideas that I can do now. And I actually do have time, so I will be doing those for sure. Probably one of my favorite things of all time, the grandiose staircase over here. I mean, look how beautiful it is. It literally feels like it's straight from like a royal palace or something. Um, wait, what is that? Wait, 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 what is this button? Oh, wait, can I just switch my plots without having to go back to the main menu? Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Wait, so if I click this. Oh, are you joking? I don't have to go back to the main menu to switch my houses anymore. Oh my goodness. That is great. I am actually kind of curious about what this ranking system is about because obviously this only has 4%. It's only like 122,000. I don't know if it's like, if there's like a brand new way of ranking. I mean, hey, I personally like this house. This was a bit of an older house that I did. Let me know if you guys can somehow see like my builds. I don't think you can though. I think all the pre-built houses are made by Blossburg star creators. Um, they do have that new program. It is only, it's early access. It's only available to some certain Blocksburg YouTubers at the moment. Yeah, I do want to see if I can actually get my vehicle towed. Yeah, I don't know how much the Blocksburg town is going to charge me for this. Apparently, all the jobs now have equal pay. My moods are pretty low right now, so I'm not going to get like the full amount of money. But let's say, for example, I just wanted to work over here at like Bloxy, at like Blocksburger, and I just decided to park my car right here. Oh, <gasps> wait, what? Oh, that is so cool. Vehicle tow warning. Move your vehicle to a parking spot or return it to your plots to prevent it from being towed. What? Wait, that is so cool. Oh, that is amazing. I actually do want to see, like, what do they mean by the equal pay thing now? I only got $7. What in the world? So is it more, like, is it more realistic? But I also think it's based on, like, how well you can do it. Oh, yeah, there we go. I just got $159 for that. So it's also based on your work efficiency, it looks like. Very cool. All right, you guys, that's going to wrap up today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this update video. I'm, but this looks amazing, you guys. I, I love this. Um, This is great and phenomenal, especially this little mouse restaurant. I absolutely love the mouse restaurant. You cannot change my mind on that. All of these brand new, like detailed building things as well. I am super excited for. I can't wait to start getting back into building, especially with like all these brand new little details, like the corner pieces here, like the little trims up top. We have like all of these, um, like all these brand new textures to play around with as well. I'm absolutely loving this. I think this is a great solid Bloxburg update. Yeah, but let me know what you guys thought of this Bloxburg update down in the comment sections below. And with that being said, I'll see you guys all in the next one. Bye everyone.